Hey, it's Phil from Philips Downlight. In this session, I'm going to talk about the scheduler and in particular how you can have different schedules with the same actions on different days. So I'm in maintenance tab. If I go to um, macros first, here I've created two macros. I've created a corridors on and a corridors off. If we have a look at the actions, here are my actions for the corridor on. So I've chosen my corridors and I've chosen my preset. My default delay between these messages is zero, but if I set that at, let's say, a second, that will put a one second delay between each of these messages, if that's what I want to do. If I wanted a two second delay between these two, I just say add delay, insert a delay, and set that to two seconds. So I built two macros, one to turn the corridors on and one to turn them off. If I now go to the scheduler, I can add a new schedule and I'm gonna call this weekday corridors on. Okay, days of the week, Monday to Friday, and I'm gonna turn the corridors on at 7 a.m. So, okay. Edit actions, add action, macro control, corridors on, start macro. So at 7 a.m. on every weekday, that macro will run. On the weekend, I want it to happen at nine o'clock. Save that. Can even duplicate that. Duplicate it. Let's call it. Oh, get rid of that, sorry. Weekend, corridors on, change that. Nine o'clock. Safe. And in that way, I've got the same thing happening on different days at uh, different times. Now you can obviously build this out as large as you like. Remember to push your schedules, deploy them to your gateways so that you've got more reliable performance. Um, and yeah, experiment with this. I'm sure you can all see opportunities for it already. Thanks very much for your time and we'll talk to you again soon.